What's up guys and welcome back to this Empire Total War series and uh, Scotland trying to take over Europe and so far we've done a pretty decent job taking over Norway. Um, they're still a bit, a bit sort of pissed off should we say about the whole situation and we've taken over Dublin. Just in the last episode we took over Dublin and we've got a random fucking British minister. Missionary. So that uh, Lads reading the Karma Sutra. Anyway, I think this week we're going to try and take London. Wasn't planning on doing this so early in the series, but they uh, kind of left us with no choice when they decided absolutely horrific attempt to try and silence us, take us on and declare war on us. They uh, kind of, well, I think the only words really fucked themselves. And they have a quite a large amount of force down here. They've got decent little army here, they've got some soldiers in Portsmouth as well, and they've got an absolutely massive full army in London itself, so I think her best plan is to probably raise an army and come down here and probably try and just take over different towns and just ransack them on the way down. I think that's why they've got such a big army down in Portsmouth, is that France has got quite a large, sizable, well, I say sizable, quite a large, they've got an army in uh, Le Havre and uh, could potentially try an invasion attempt of England, so we need to get there first as well, which I should probably stop just chatting and actually get on with the situation, so um, we'll get these guys and get them back into Edinburgh. I was going to send them to Glasgow, but they're not really needed there anymore, given that we've now taken over Ireland. We shall get some of our men from here, including Ross for Scythe, and uh, bring them... Can you fuck off, women? Honestly. Um, bring them back to Edinburgh. Right, we'll leave them there. And we'll send the rest of them back. This piece cannot move any further now. Can you not? Can you just not? Right. Um, actually, can I disable her? Because she's bloody annoying. I think that should hopefully silence her. About bloody time. Again with watching the bloody United States. Oh, here they come. It's a 50-50. Well, they've got a slight advantage by the looks of that over us. Um... I think we'll just run away at the moment. I don't really want to, uh... Hey, mate. Oh, for God's sake, he's chasing us. Right, well, I guess we're going to have to fight it. I'll just all resolve it to what happens. We won! We bloody well won. Random Russian gentleman just walking around in Scandinavia. Nowhere near any towns, just... casually walking around in the bloody mountains of Scandinavia, as you do. And Norway's rebelled again. Workers on strike in Ireland, wonderful. Right, you guys, get yourself into, uh, into Edinburgh. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sending some of my army. Anything that has quite a large force doesn't isn't depleted, we shall take as far as we can go, which I think we might be able to get into Cambridge. It's right on the edge of our uh, distance. Let's just go to Birmingham for now. Get in there. And amongst it, right. How are things going on over here? For God's sake, another bloody Norwegian rebel army. All you guys, go and attack them. Go on. It's a very close battle, actually. Right, it's just... Fingers crossed. Good. Lost over half of our troops, though. But we have killed that rebelling army, which is the point. Also, since when has Scotland ever had bloody snow? Honestly. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. But it's never never like that. Anyway. Right, I think we're probably going to have to end turn again. I think there's much more we can do this turn. Hope that Ireland doesn't rebel, and uh, hopefully Norway can sort of shit out sooner rather than later, because they're starting to uh, annoy me. Right, end turn. See if France go and take over London before we get there. I'll be rather, like, massively pissed off. Oh god, here they come. Um, YOLO! Ah, oh, we lost. It wasn't an awful loss, but it was quite a bad loss. And now we're off into, like, the middle of nowhere. I don't know what that ship just did. He just w went away down into, the, like, halfway down into the med and then changed his mind and went away back up again. Was that bloody Russian again, just wandering around in the <laughs> snowy mountains of Scandinavia? 
I don't know what he's doing. Back into Birmingham. And where's the rest of the... They still need intact. Fuck it, right. You're, you're just going. Get yourself down into Birmingham with them. Oh, apparently they can't reach. Wonderful. It's probably the bloody horses, isn't it? The cannons. Right, so Ross Forsyth, he's got his... Uh, got his troops down there. We've got a pretty sizable army. It's not a massive army, but it's not bad either. Might be able to recruit some more up here. Might recruit some clansmen. They don't cost that much, but they're... So far, they've been absolutely amazing in battle, so... Yeah, let's just recruit some more clansmen. Should hopefully be be able to uh, take on anything that comes this way. And what the fuck's going on over here? There's a random fire going on. In the carpet shed. And, uh, are you still all, still all revolting? Typical. Alright, I think we're just going to have to end turn again. Ah, oh, here they go. Run away! Run away! Hopefully they can't catch us. Now we're in a port, so we're fine. And the bloody missionary position still wandering around in Scotland. Can he fuck off? There he is again. Wandering around in the, uh, the mountains. He's actually in our country now. He's in Norway. I don't know what he's doing. He's going to be a massive part of this episode, though. He's going to, every every time I've been turned, he's uh, been wandering around. All right, we've got another riot in uh, in Norway. A rebellion in Ireland. Wonderful. That's quite a large army that uh, the the Irish rebels <laughs> have uh, managed to amass. Amass. A mass. I might send these guys to uh, to Dublin, just in case this random army thinks they're going to try and take us back. I kind of want to go and take on London, but I don't think I've got enough troops yet to try and uh, really do anything to them. I think this is going to be a lot of end turning this uh, this video. We might be able to get to London by the end of it. Not sure what that guy's doing. He's still wandering around. He's a long bloody way from home though, as well. Just walk all the way from Russia to not. Oh, here they come. Here they bloody well come. Right, uh, we've got about 800 troops and they've got 1500. Eh, sorry, no, 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 we've got 1100. So, uh, I think I'll do this myself. So, what I think I might do is try and garrison my troops inside some buildings. I think that might be the best option here. That's an interesting uh, formation you got yourselves in there, lads. Um, that is quite a significant large army. God, they've got bloody cavalry, and here comes our other guys. Look at them all! Piling out onto the, uh... Well, looks quite like a castle up there, but... Breaking out windows? What's this lad doing? <laughs> he's got... He's got the biggest set of balls this side of Belfast. Anyway, right. Let's go get stuck in amongst them. Oh no, we're breaking. Oh, this has gone bad. This is going bad. How many did we lose? Oh god, there's only 43 of them left. And now these guys are breaking... Oh no. Go on! Pike the prick out of them. Don't know what that means. Just fucking... Jib them with your sticks, come on! Grenade them! Gr oh my word, what's going on? Right, we missed. You missed! Go on, get back in that building. Go on, do it. Quickly. Quickly! Look, this, these guys are still stuck behind. Oh no. Surrounded. Go on. In the building. I think our only hope now is that the guys in the buildings can hold off the enemies for long enough that they might be able to uh, whittle their numbers down. So many dead bodies inside that building. They're all, they're all queued up waiting to shoot out the windows. <laughs> oh, brilliant. And at this point the keyboard decides to stop responding. Right, we're just going to have to move around like this now, right. There are enemies inside this building. I'm to move around like a fucking pleb at the moment, just to try and move my. There we go. The keyboard's back. There's enemies inside this building. We are we are sharing the building with a bunch of enemies, but nobody seems to be killing each other. They're running away. This could actually work out for us. Although I think these guys have kind of cottoned on and are now just waiting on us coming out. <laughs> this lad with his balls of steel as well. Just standing in the sight line of that house. <laughs> this, 
these guys will be standing here like general can we uh can we maybe just shift along a little bit no you stand where you are you fucking take those bullets this battle has suddenly become much more favorable after it looked like for a while that we were going to get absolutely ruined by them putting all of our troops inside the buildings and they just can't handle it right when i said line yourselves up i kind of meant like in the general direction of these guys but if that works then it works I like how these guys are still just sharing a house together. These guys are just lining, they're just queuing up to get shot in the face. Look at the pile of enemies. Do we, if you were a soldier and you shot, saw that, you wouldn't just keep walking into it. You'd be like, uh, lads, let's get out of here. This, is, this has gone horribly wrong. Just quite horrific, actually, watching this. Oh, now, now they decide that they're going to try and actually take us on. And now they've run away. Jib their horses with your m musket... Spikes, I don't know, what are they called again? Uh, bayonets, that's the one. Fucking musket spikes. Run away, get to get fuck lads, honestly. We're actually winning this battle. They only have this one group of enemies, which are like somehow in the same building as a ton of our guys. Look, <laughs> there they all are. So, there's all the enemies in the back, and we're standing at the windows, and they're not doing anything to each other. Right, they're leaving the building. Let's see what happens here, because... Oh, they've started fighting each other, finally. Going, lads, get in there. Oh yeah, just pile in the building. Absolute war zone in there. That guy just got fucking bayoneted to the chest. We've won this. We've actually won this battle. How? A heroic victory. So big Brody Collins lost 900 men, we, we, we lost 535, which isn't, isn't bad, but it's not great. It was quite a lot of our forces, although they did have a substantially bigger army and we managed to take them on and win, so they're still alive though, but they fucked off for the, the meanwhile. And now Norway's rebelled. Excellent! So we now have another bloody Norwegian army that's turned up. We're almost, though, we've almost managed to quell the unrest, which is quite nice. Um, let's recruit some more militia. Let's recruit a general as well. What's his name? Ewan Knox. It's a good name. It's a good name. Hopefully, within the next turn or two, Norway and Ireland should be on board and quite happy with the situation. We now have quite a large army, including Craig and Ross, for Scythe. And we could now take on Scott, take on London, possibly in the next turn, because we now have almost a full-sized army. All right, great. Now the British are just going to blockade our port. Dicks. Raiding everything. All right, there we go. The Shannon farmlands have been raided by this group of bellends. I'll resolve that, and we won. We lost 400 troops, they lost 600. And they're gone. And we can't get back into uh, into here, so we've... Uh... That wasn't a great idea, to be honest. Right. Fuck it. We're going to try and take on London. Demand surrender. No. Um, they do have a substantially bigger force than us, but as we proved in the last battle, it's not about how big it is. It's about how you use it. And we used it damn well in the last battle, and uh, hopefully we can use it damn well in this battle as well. So uh, I think we'll fight this battle as well and hopefully prevail. And it's foggy as fuck, so we can't see literally anything that's happening. Oh my god, that's a big bloody army. Um, where are the other... I don't think they've arrived yet. Right, let's use some canister shot and see if we can take out some infantry from a distance with our, our cannons. Where is our... Oh god, they've, they're, they're just getting... I didn't expect you to go all the way up there, right? Just run away. Is that the uh, the general? Might go and try and kill their general. Should hopefully help us try and uh, win the battle. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, we've already lost our cannons. Are we beating these guys? Possibly? I think we've lost quite a few as well. Yeah. But they're running away. Good. Right. And these guys are all over the shop. They don't know what's going on. 
Oh, we've killed the enemy general. That must have been what these guys were. Alright, fuck it. Anyway. Oh, fucking hell, this is an absolute monstrosity that's going on here. Right, line yourselves up in some sort of general fucking formation. I'm thinking we might, might be worth skirmishing this group of uh, horses. Because I think they have a secondary general, which is this guy. Right, all of my cavalry is just going to attack them. Oh wow, they've got fucking guns. Oh well, fuck it. Oh, we're, they actually just went and killed a load of us. But they're now running away. Excellent. We've killed another enemy general. I think this is all you have to do, really, is just... charge at them, get them to run away, and then you kind of win the battle. Oh, here come the, the reinforcements. Right, line up for the... Uh, the wave of enemies that's heading this direction. Turn our focus on these guys. And the Pirates of the Caribbean music's back again. As you do. I'm not going to complain, it's fucking beastly. Nothing more epic than Pirates of the Caribbean music just blasting in when you're, uh... Ruining some Brits. Just try and... Oh, fuck it, just continue. Just try and mop everything up. Take out as many of them as we can. He's going to get away. He's actually going to get away. Oh well. I think that's pretty much it. Just once this lad manages to escape, then uh, should be us taking London. Oh, we're actually catching him. We've caught him. He's dead. Good. A decisive victory. No more of that close victory shite. We've had a heroic victory and a decisive victory, and that's uh, well, it's a show of the times, really, that we've taken on two armies bigger than us and beaten both of them. Oh my word, it was an absolute annihilation. They had 2,600 troops, we only had 1,900. We lost just under 500, and they lost all but 11. <laughs> that is absolutely horrific. Well, with that, I think it's probably time to end this episode. It's probably been quite a long episode, to be honest. But then again, it was just a lot of ending turns, so... Yeah, I think we'll go and take Gibraltar next, because, well, they've got a massive fleet, but not so much in the way of uh, an army. I've still got islands, still got Bahamas, Jamaica, the Leeward Islands, uh, I think that's all they've got down there. So basically they have Canada, apart from uh, Montreal and Quebec. The best bit of uh, Canada. I mean, Great Britain's still massive, they're still bigger than we are, but they've now lost what was their... Uh, their main land in the uh, Ireland, in Ireland, England, and Scotland. They've now lost all of that. Oh my god, they're rebelling like mad. Oh, I look forward to the next, like, three years of trying to quell that bloody unrest. If you've enjoyed this video, then like and uh, share it with your friends as well, if you have uh, if you want them to enjoy the destruction of Great Britain. And uh, subscribe as well if you want to keep up to date with all my other stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys all next week for taking on Gibraltar, probably. Until then, I'll see y'all later.